Tamar Braxton. It's time to let it go, sis. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black and black on. Time it is, I got the black v-neck on, girl. Turn your volume down, up, whatever you want to do to get into it because I am seriously tired. And honestly, I teared up talking about this because I'm really tired of how people are treating Lonnie Love. I'm really, really tired. And I know Lonnie Love is in this position where she can't really say much because if she had taken any type of action, half the action that Tamar has taken, she would get it back the worst. Lonnie Love is not allowed to be able to respond to Tamar like Tamar is going at her. She is not. Lonnie Love is sitting on an Emmy winning show, still getting books, still getting gigs, but people are still, and Tamar alone, are still trying to put this narrative that Lonnie Love is jealous of Tamar or she's envious. You ain't got nothing that Lonnie Love wants, Tamar. Now, before I even go in, because y'all don't even know my voice been raised up a little higher, let me first gather myself, because a couple years ago, in the past, I had said some very negative things about Tamar Braxton. I had body shamed her. I said all types of things that I regret to this day. And that's why it is so personal to me because hurt people hurt people and that's exactly what Tamar Braxton is doing when you posted that clip that old clip from the Queen's Court when you posted that clip of T.S. Madison basically body shaming uh, Lonnie that took back everything that everybody has said about you. Everybody had been rooting for you. They thought you had changed because honestly, Tamar, your whole, you talking about some not being a marketing tool since you are a whole gimmick and you are inauthentic. That's why, that's some of the reason why you did not last on the reel. The whole thing of how you were acting wasn't resonating with the audience. And when them folks were doing um, group studies and stuff and trying to figure out what the demographic is and what's going on and how they relate to you, you weren't just getting it. You, they already said that you were having problems with the advertisers, the folks who are paying money for the show to be on. The real ain't out here for the culture and doing it because they want to do it. They are here to make money. And you were costing them money. Now, the real tea, this is what I believe. I believe if anybody snitched on you, it was Janine. Uh, Jenny, whatever her name is, Jenny from the block, Janine, I think it was her who reported you and said that you were being a bully to her and she felt uncomfortable. I believe that's what truly happened. And if you want to know why you were fired, why don't you ask the producers who fired you? Why don't you just go to the source and ask them why were you terminated? But I believe the reason why you don't is because it will hurt your ego. And your ego is already fragile and distressed. So let me go let me go go a little bit further. I have no issues with T.S. Madison at all. I love T.S. Madison. That does not mean I agree with everything that she says and everything that she does. With that being said, that video that T.S. Madison did with um, Crooked Letter, Crooked Letter, Kaya, okay, that was back in the past or whatever. I'm not sure how T.S. Madison feels the same or whatever, but that was body shaming. That was body shaming. And I'm kind of confused of how that is even still funny because Lonnie Love and T.S. Madison are about the same size. Honestly, T.S. Madison is bigger than Lonnie Love. So we got to, we got to check the, the fat shaming and the body shaming. We got to stop doing it because it's just not the tea. And also, Tamar Braxton, for you to bring your butt on national TV to walk out on some spanks, you walk out in Spanx. Walk on national TV on Spanx to talk about how you don't like your body, how you have been eating trash and you have quote unquote let yourself go and that you were trying to learn yourself so you can get into shape. Girl, you literally did all that to promote some goddamn flat tummy tea. Some fish quick. That is where your career is at. For you to do all of that and get on Instagram and post a damn link for folks to go buy some damn tea to help them lose some weight or some milkshake to lose some weight. Girl, go find, this is where your career is at, Tamar. This is, this is, where, this is where you at, an uh, Instagram influencer. Damn, that's messed up. Now, Tamar, I'm just confused of how you said that you had an issue with your body then posted a video of somebody shaming somebody with a, with a bigger body. It doesn't make any sense to me. 
It, it, it doesn't make any sense. You had all these folks cackling and laughing. Now I tell you, I deleted the post. And she posted some tweets out. I'm like, oh my God, I'm just in distress. I didn't want to do all that. Greg, the way you talk about God, the way you talk about God is moving negativity and he's the light and all that. I wish you would actually believe half of the issue you be saying because if God was so important and moving things and doing that and Moses and stuff and moving ties and stuff, he would have never let you to be in the position to be on a winning show to put you in the situation that you are in now. So, girl, whatever God you praying to, whatever deity that you think you are, hum, 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 you need to go find another one because, girl, it ain't working for you. And you remind me of all the, 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 the folks in the church who keep folks from going back to the church. You remind me of the catty older ladies in the church upholding patriarchy and saying all these ugly things about people, kids, and, and this and that, always keep, keeping up gossip, but always the main one talking about some stay prayed up. Girl, you are a mess, and you embarrass yourself, not on national TV, but the internet as well. We know you got fired. A lot of us have been fired from jobs before, so we can relate, but Tamar, it's time to let go and let God do whatever they need to do to help you move on, because you are blaming everybody but yourself. And I am honestly really tired of the bullying that is going on with London Love. Honestly, I had teared up talking about this because I know London Love can't respond like Tamar be responding. She has to be calculated. She has to be nice because the moment she says something out of order, people are going to put pin her as jealous and all that. And I'm going to tell you why. Because Lonnie is the easy target. She's fat, she's dark skinned, and she's seen as undesirable. And I like Lonnie Love. I ain't in love with her because she just said some trash stuff before about gay folks. But I mess with Lonnie Love because I relate to Lonnie Love. I relate to being in a situation where folks are saying things about you and you can't respond. Like the person can say all of these things, but you can't do anything because the moment you do, people will accuse you of being jealous. When you are the person sitting on the show, getting books, getting gigs and all that, you getting all that, but they don't see any of that. They, and that's what they're doing with London Love. London Love is on the show and it's an Emmy Award winning show. She's doing good. But at the end of the day, how we see fatness, we don't think that London Love is happy because you need to be doing everything, even if it kills yourself, to lose weight. And that's something we got to work on because it is tiring. It is so tiring because London Love has not said anything malicious about Tamar. She has never shaded her. She could have honestly posted that gift of her laughing when she said she looked like a Muppet. And there would have been enough shade to, be, to make it fly by. But London Love ain't done none of that. Lonnie Love has not said anything, and Tamar went to the lowest or to the gutter to respond to her. Tamar, you went on the Wendy Williams show, you got asked about Wendy Williams, would you go on the show, you responded and said, um, I'm working on some better things, that you could have left it at that, like, you didn't have to say, um, I don't have time to be around catty folks and da 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 da, and if God kept you from the negativity, he could keep your damn mouth closed. And that's something that you couldn't do. I'm so tired of y'all using God as a, 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 a talking point and an and a attack method. I'm so tired of folks doing that. Well, God doing this. Like, that's not even that's not even godly, if you want to call it. Like, you can't be saying, you can't be using God to say that he's moving negativity. You can't, you can't do that. Like, you cannot do that. Because we don't know. Just like them trash receipts that you posted. You posted that somebody was trying to get you out of there. Mainly, Lonnie was responsible for you getting fired. Just ask the producers why you got fired. Lonnie had nothing to do with you getting fired. I'm going to tell you what happened. Them folks who did some research and they found out that you ain't working with them. Nobody who was watching the show, making, making the show money, was interested in you. The demographic that they was rooting for and trying to get picked up for the advertisers, you were not touching that demographic. And honestly, no tea, no shade. I like the direction that the, 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 the reel is going. I like that they can talk about other topics and, and, and be a little bit diverse. Now, I'm not, I don't watch the reel, but I do see some clips. And I do feel like they give us a younger vibe of um, what, what is it, the, um, the other show, The View tries to do. I, I do like it. But at the same time, Tamar, you were not, you just, you didn't know how to just tone it down. You wanted to be the star of the show, and that was your problem. You wanted to be the star of the show that you kept uh, over-talking people. And you were making it a difficult environment for people to work with. That's what they said. 
that you were hard to work with. I remember when the story came out because B. Scott dropped it. They said that you were difficult to work with and the advertisers weren't fooling with you. That's why you lost your job. So you cannot be mad at Lonnie Love. Lonnie Love has not done anything to you, girl. And then you come out here to my son, you got some receipts. The only thing that you posted was a text message with no date, no name, no timestamp, no nothing. We don't even know who this person is saying that they were talking to somebody. And girl, that ain't no receipts. So tell me, unless you come into with some bigger stuff, shut up. Shut up. And people want to say that, oh, the real should have never said something. London should have never said something. I do believe that London Love genuinely reached out to Tamar and then she didn't respond. Tamar, how are you sitting here offering an apology just a couple of months ago? Now you're out here saying this. You should be this, you should be ashamed of yourself. For posting that video. You should be ashamed as somebody who had to walk out on in some space to get some attention for some flat tummy tea. You should be ashamed of your damn self for doing that. You should be ashamed of yourself for posting that clip. And you should know better at 42 years old, at your big age, at your big age, as a person who was married to a fat, black, dark skinned man. You should know better. You should know better. I say all this to say that Tamar Braxton, you have got to find what is going on to make you do and say some of the things you, you do. You can't be out here blaming folks for you for your response. You went and dug up an old clip of somebody body shaming uh, Lonnie Love and you posted it to your Instagram. And even in that moment, London Love still didn't show anything to you but love and said, girl, like, I understand, like, girl, just if you just stood, the office stood out and you still look like a fool. And at this point, you had everything rooting for you. You had just got through winning Big Brother. You went through the divorce. It's like, girl, she like, her life is balancing out. She's in a happy relationship. But I'm going to tell you how social media works and how people can cut and clip and piece together their life to look a certain way when it's actually not that good. And that's exactly what you did. That's exactly what you've been doing and talking about how you so happy. And then we find out that you've been going through it the last six months. That's what y'all be doing. That's what a lot of folks be doing who be celebrities and known. They're cut in their pace and make stuff seem like everything is good and truth they be hurt. That ain't gonna be me because I'm telling you if I'm hurting, I'm going through it, you're gonna know I'm gonna tell you about it because I ain't finna be somewhere where I can't figure out who I am. You ain't finna have me in no bathroom crying and contemplating my life. Okay, and I'm still out here smiling at folks' face, and then two weeks from now, you don't know where, I ha where I'm at, what happened to me. Absolutely no, ma'am. Stand up in your shit. If you're such a strong person and all that, stand up and own up who you are. Take my Braxton, that was a mess, and you should know better at your big age to be sitting here posting a clip like that. You are responsible for your actions, and the moment you understand that, the better you will be. Electric chair.